But my neighbor who got his <laughs> ran it down this morning for me so I could borrow it wow. from him. <laughs> so I appreciate him for doing that for me. He's a big supporter. So I am just really grateful for that. Okay, so I'm going to start with chapter two. It's called Reflections. Someone turn on the noise again. The silence is too much, Julia thought. Julia's eyes followed the students around her who stared with glazed looked, looks completely zoned out. She watched Jose looking into his lunchbox if he, as if he was frozen in thought. Maybe I shouldn't have teased Drew about having no hair. That was mean of me, Jose thought. Jose continued to stare blankly at his lunchbox, never once looking at anyone. Jose was a shy boy. He didn't speak often, even when spoken to. What a lot of people didn't know was that he was nonverbal as a child. He seemed very self-conscious, almost as if he had once been a victim of bullying. He loved playing piano because he could escape into another world. I didn't know Drew had leukemia. I thought he wore his head bald so he could get attention. I feel bad about the way I treated him, Jose thought. Julia looked away from Jose, her eyes fixated on Emma, who was sitting a few seats to the right. 